Hi everyone and welcome back to Total Coins. So in this video we are going to be doing another world coin hunt. We've got our tub here full of world coins that we're going to be going through, looking to find some interesting dates, new countries, a uh, bit of everything really. But before we get to the hunt itself, just wanted to say don't forget to check out my 1000 subscriber giveaway that went live last weekend. I will stick a link up in this top corner. <laughs> um, to, so head over and check that out. We've got six separate prizes that I'm going to be giving away. And the entries for that will close this Friday, so or next Friday, sorry. So that will be the 1st of May. And then the draw will take place on Sunday the 3rd of May. I'm hoping to do the draw as a live stream. But if not, I will do it as a premiere. I am just waiting for some new equipment to come through to potentially allow me to sort of live stream. But I will let you know as soon as I can with that. But with that said, let's crack on and we'll have a look and see what we can find today. So our first coin out is not a coin. It is actually a decimal token coin. One new penny. <laughs> okay, and it is plastic, not even aluminium. So, very, very interesting one to start us off. Hopefully, the next coin will be an actual coin. And it is. So, it is a 1970 one corone from Norway. That is very nice. That is going to be a new coin as well. I have not seen one of them before. Very nice. A nice one to officially start us on. <laughs> We've then got a very corroded Netherlands. Let me have a look. Uh, no, not too sure if that's Netherlands or not. Let's have a look on the other side. Yep, yeah, that is Netherlands. N Netherlands. So it is one cent from 1966, but in not great condition at all. I think actually we have already got a 1966 one of them. I'm hoping that we have, because I'm probably not going to stick that in the collection, just because it is so corroded. We've then got our first US one cent for the hunt, and it is a 1974D. Very nice. So you see just there below the date, we've got the D mint mark. Uh, with the US uh, coins, you have D for Denver, uh, S for San Francisco, and no mint mark is Washington, I think. And then I think there are there are there are two other mints in the US. I can't remember where they are. I think you've got West Point, which might be the Washington Mint. But the more common ones that you'll see are the sort of the S. Oh, and you've got P, Philadelphia. So you've got the S, the P, no mint mark. And I don't know why, but I've got a feeling there's a W as well. But I might be wrong. Uh, for those of you in the US, let me know in the comments down below. Because um, I have looked into it before, but I can't remember off the top of my head. We've got another US one cent. This time it is... It's a 2017p. Wow. I very, very rarely find any of the S's or the P's. So that is an absolute stunner. With it being 2017 as well, that is going to be the shield design. 
There we go. Wow, I am really chuffed with that. As I say, normally I find no mint marks or D mint marks. I very rarely find any of the S's or the P's. I think I've only got one of each in the collection already. Now this will be my second P mint mark, one cent. Next up, we've got what's this one? Quarter rupee from India. Wow. 1946. And then down the bottom you've got the circle mint mark, which is circle mint mark, is that uh Delhi mint? So you've got Delhi, you've got Hyderabad, you've got... No, Delhi is the diamond. The circle, I think, is Hyderabad. So that is the Hyderabad mint. Uh, I will stick it in the annotations, just on the left, if I am wrong. And there we go. We've got the obverse design with George the Sixth on. Really, really like that one. I do like getting the Indian coins. Next up, we've got another US one cent. And this time it is a 2001 D, I believe. 2001 or 2007? Yeah, 2001. It's alright, it just looked like it was slanting a bit. So, yeah, another one to add to the US scent collection. So, looking at the tub actually, we have quite a large percentage of the US one cents in here. So, if everyone wants me to sort of do a special video on just the US cents, just to clear out the tub a bit, uh, as we see, we've got another one. This time it is a 1993D. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to sort of re either refresh the tub or just do a special video sort of looking at the one cents. Because as I say, we have got absolutely loads of them left in the tub now. But next one we've got is a French, our first French for the hunt. It's a 20 centines from 1997. We've then got, what is this one? I've seen it before. Definitely looks familiar. So you've got the date down the bottom here, which is what, one, two, I'm not sure what that one is, and that's a zero. But obviously that is for the, that would be in the sort of the Arabic Canada, which isn't, doesn't correlate with ours. Um, and it's five something. I'm not sure on that one. I'm going to have to revert that to the annotations. But it is a really, really nice coin. As I say, I'm pretty sure that we've had one of them before. We've then got an Irish. Two pence. Not in great condition at all, which is unfortunately what happens with a lot of the Irish coins that I get. So that one is the year, let's see if I can get in 2000. So not that old in comparison. That's probably the newest one that we've ever found, apart from sort of the Euros. But it is not in great condition at all, is it? Which is a shame. Uh, 
And we've got another US one cent. This time it is a 1996 yeah 1996 with no mint mark very nice and we have ah this is one of the commemorative one cents very nice only ever found one other of these I think they're what 2009 yep 2009 no mint mark as I say I know I've got one of these but I'm not sure if it's got a mint mark on it or not hopefully this will be a new one because I would be very happy with that well I definitely like that one. And we have, ah, 50 Pazaris. So we've not had one of these in quite a long time. So this will be Egyptian. And you'll have the date just down there. But as I say, I'm not too sure. I can't actually read it sort of straight off. So, for the date, I will get you to refer to the annotations. But yeah, it's been a while since we've had one of them, actually. So, hopefully, that's a new year. And we've got our first Spanish for the hunt. It is a five pesetas. So, you'll see there, it's got a star. And within the star, you'll have the year of mintage. And then you've also got the obverse date, which will be different. So it's 1975 as the obverse date. And for the mintage date, it is 1978. So that would be an absolutely stunning coin if it wasn't for all the dirt on it. But I might have a look, compare it to the one that we've got in the book already and see if it is in a better overall condition. We've then got another five pesetas. So once again, we've got the star there. So the obverse date is 1975 again. And the mint date is 1977. So, not bad. We've got 77 and a 78. Right after each other, actually. We've then got an Elizabeth II. Okay, so could this be Canada? It is. It's a Canadian one cent from, oh, if I get it out the right way, it would help. There we go. From 1965. Very nice. So, not too sure whether it's a new year or not, but I will tell you in the annotations if it is. We go We've got another US one cent. This time it is it's another 2017p. Wow, oh, really chuffed with that. Definitely getting the good sort of one cents out today, aren't I? Another 1975 Spanish five pesetas. So, what are we beckoning? in? 76 or 79? <laughs> 
No, neither. 1980. <laughs> so, another one. I know for a fact that 1980 we've already got because we actually found one in last week's hunt, I think. And I'm actually filming this video last Sunday, so I've not long edited the video. Next up, we've got Zambia. 1968 is that? Yep, 1968. That might be a new country. I'm not too sure whether we've had Zambia on the World Coin Hunt. But it is five. Oh god, I'm gonna have to look at this. Uh five is it Nigwi? how you pronounce that but it is an absolutely stunning coin and I can pretty much guarantee that that's, if it's not a new country it's definitely a new coin we've then got another Spanish another 1975 five peseta so this one is another 1977. So it's definitely proving to be the US Spanish hunt. And we've got another Spanish, 1983. Now this won't have a mint mark, so that will be the year of mintage. Five Pesetas, and you'll see there, it's got the M mint mark instead of the star. Very nice. Next up, we've got a biometallic. President Daniel Torgic. Uh, Rap Moy. Probably, com I've completely butchered that, I know. Um, is this uh, Kenya, I'm going to say? It is Republic of Kenya. 20 shillings from 1998. So I, I was conflicted as to whether it was Kenya or Jamaica. But I think with the Jamaican ones, they do sort of the right honourable in front of the name. So, very nice, that one. We've then got... That's our first Italian coin for the hunt. It's 100 lira from... Looks like 1997, and it is very nice. Not too sure if we've got one of them actually. That might be a new coin. I think with a hundred liras, we've only ever found the um, this. Uh, I don't know what is actually proper name for it is, but the standing lady. Um, yeah, that might be a new coin. If it is, I will be very chuffed with that. And we've got another US one cent. This time it is 19 something that I can't see on the camera. 1989 and there's no mint mark, just check. No, no mint mark. So 1989. So that will be the Lincoln Memorial. We've then got five. Uh, 
Let's have a look. Ah, so it's French. So that would be five centimes from 1917. Very nice. We've had a couple of sort of old French coins recently. I know in the last video we had the Belgium coin from 1904. So yeah, very much liking the older coins that we're finding. Next up, we've got, that is 10 cents, and that is from South Africa. If I get it up the right way, it does help. Yep, there we go, South Africa, and that is, is that 1997? Yep, 1997. Very nice. We've got another Italian. It is 50 lira from 1978. Oh, wait a minute. The Italian coins there are always in such great condition, especially these ones. You don't really see them. So there's a bit of wear around the outside of this one, but nowhere near as a sort of the wear that we get on some of the other coins. So I don't know whether it's the metal that they use in the actual coin itself or the rim that they use around it but they always seem to be in really good condition and we've got another shield one cent so is this going to be another payment mark it's 2016 so it's a different one and it is 2016 d Very nice. Next up, we've got a Netherlands. So is this, what am I gonna say, 25, I think it's cent. Yep, 25 cent from 1978. Very nice. So what we'll do is we'll do sort of two more just to finish off this row and we'll call it a day because the video is starting to sort of run on a bit. And next up we've got another Spanish, another 1975, but this time it is a one peseta. So, like with the other coins, you've got the you've got the two stars on this one actually. So you've got 19 in the star down the bottom, and then you've actually got the year of mintage in the star up the top. So let's have a quick look. And this one is 1980. Very nice. Right, so we're on to the last one, and I think the rule for today is no Spanish and no US to finish on. I think we've had enough of them, so let's have a look. Probably will be US with the amount that we're finding. And no, it's not. So it is something different. So I can't read what's on that side. that side upside down but I haven't got a clue on that one so I'm going to have to have a look after the video and stick that up in the annotations I think it's one something don't know with that one I am gonna to have to have a look so that is going to be the end of today's hunt um, star pool for me, I think it's definitely got to be the commemorative US one cent. 
I think it's... It doesn't actually say what it's commemorating. Um, but that is definitely my star pool for today. And I say, hopefully it's not the same as the one that we've already got. But that is going to be the end of today's hunt. So, as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to check out my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. It does finish sort of this Friday evening, so I will stick a link in the description down below. Uh, also, you can check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links will be in the description down below as well. And with that said, thanks for watching. Really hope you enjoyed today's hunt, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. All right, bye.